Hi friends, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and today I'm excited to bring you another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. This week we're tackling one of my favorite tips of how to up your Zoom game. It's 2021, a new year, we've been on Zoom for months now, and so these are tried and true tips that I use to elevate my own personal Zoom game and I recommend to clients. So today we're gonna talk about your username and how you can best fit that so that it, it is the same no matter when you log into Zoom. I don't know how many times I've worked with clients and they've been on like mom's iPad and it would have been really professional for them to have their name there. So what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna talk through what you should think about with your username on Zoom and I will show you how to actually adjust it. So stick around. Before we get into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I am trying to keep these shorter, so this week's we're just gonna have one tip in there, but it's something that you can apply to your own personal Zoom virtual meeting, virtual event game. Um, also head over to loganstrategygroup.com, sign up for my newsletter. I drop a new newsletter every single month where I'm sharing things that are making me happy, projects I'm working on, more in-depth tips and tricks. So head on over, subscribe, and I'll see you right back here. All right, so what am I talking about when I say setting your Zoom name? So we all see when we log into Zoom and you show up in a meeting, it does show your username. And so that can sometimes be just your first name, just your last name, maybe just your first name and iPhone or... Logan and iPad or whatever it is. But what I've found a lot of times is it makes you look really professional if you have it already just set and you know what it wants to be and you're not having to adjust that every single meeting. And I've worked with people who I know don't know how to do this because they do have to adjust it every single meeting or maybe their name's not capitalized. And it's just these little things that can make you look that much more professional and prepared in your next virtual meeting or event. So. We're gonna pop into Zoom right now. So the, one of the nuances with Zoom is there's the difference between the Zoom app, so if you're on a MacBook, the app that's in your settings that pop up in your Zoom window, and the Zoom browser. So when I say browser, I mean the Zoom website. All right, so here's my Zoom browser. And so this is where, if you look, I'm in the Zoom US, o2web.zoom.us, and this is where I'm on my back end. And so what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your profile, um, and then you wanna see here, you have your name. So you wanna hit edit to the far right. And so here's where you can actually both set the name that is with your account. So it can just be your first name, last name, but you can also do your display name. And so this is what I think is really, really crucial for people is if you figure out how are you using Zoom? Are you using it for personal meetings? Are you using it with family? Are you using it for work? Is it for networking? Try to think through how you would be, how you're utilizing the platform and how you would want to be presented. So just like you might think through on your LinkedIn profile, how did you want to say your job title or do you wanna just say what you're passionate about? It can be different for everyone. Standard is just first name, last name. I've also seen, again, we're in 2021. So listing your pronouns um, is also popular. I've also seen people who do first name dash company name or first name, last name, dash company name, but just think about whatever you want to be your first impression when you log into Zoom. Because I really do believe that your username is the first impression you have when you log into a meeting, especially if it's with people you don't know or it's a networking event. And it does make an impact that you, that's the first thing they associate you with and not Logan's iPad. And then they have to look back and say, oh, now it says Logan Clements. Again, these are details and little, little, little things, but I think will make a big difference in the long run. So you can edit your display name back there. So let's just say, for example, Logan Strategy Group. I wanna take out the pronouns and then I'll go down and I'll hit save changes. And then if I pulled up Zoom and I start a new meeting, but you can see when I toggle over my name or I'm just a participant, I am Logan, Logan Clements, Logan Strategy Group. Um, I do suggest if you're someone like me who works with a variety of clients, um, this is where I would default to my pronouns instead of my company just because I often log in and I'm representing different organizations, I'm representing my client. Yeah, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, I'll go back to it of your Zoom username, I think, is really just that first impression. It's like handing someone a business card or even, I guess, better a better way to describe it would be what you put on your name tag if you were at a virtual event or at an in-person event. Whatever you would write on your name tag, I'd probably put that as your default Zoom username. And making sure you're capitalizing your first name or capitalizing your last name unless it purposefully 
does not have capital letters. Um, it just makes you look more polished and professional, no matter if you're using this just for a regular internal business meeting, an external networking event, or you're going to a virtual event. It just has consistency. And I know for myself, the minute I learned how I could do that and taught myself that, because it's not that complicated, but I was just too lazy and I just kept manually fixing it every call. It's changed my life because I know the minute I'm joining a meeting from my phone, from my computer, from wherever, I'm representing myself the way I want to be seen. That's all I have for you. That's my Zoom tip. We're going to kick keep with this theme this month. It's all going to be tangible, actionable tips that you can use to up your own personal Zoom game. So stick around next Monday. I'm dropping my next installment. Again, I try to keep these shorter. <laughs> Uh, drop a note in the comments if you want to hear more, or if you have more questions, or like what are your go-to favorite things about Zoom or questions about Zoom. I've constantly been helping friends, family, colleagues, clients, 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 parents, anyone uh, with figuring out how to have a more efficient and fun Zoom experiences. And that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for tuning in for another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning. Once again, I'm Logan Clements, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.